Are You a Snowman? Chapter 1 Chili and the Bonfire Jack pulled back his bathroom curtain. A flash blanket of snow covered the ground. Pulling on warm clothes, he ran out in, into the curl, curchy snow. I'm going to build the best snowman ever, Jack thought. First, he made the body. Then he rolled a snowball from the head and added two black pe pebbles from eyes. Four more from a smiley mouth stuck in a carrot from nose and finished off white with a hat and a scarf. Jack stood back to admit his new snowman. I'll call him Chili, he said proudly. Jack heard banging from the few next door. Mr. Oates was put, putting up a sign. Jack licked his lip. He loved toasting marshmallows. Can I come to your party, please? He asked the farmer. Of course, Jack, replied Mr. Oat. I'll let you in from free if you help me build the bonfire. Jack climbed over the fence and picked up an armful of logs. In no time, he had a, he and Mr. Oats had built a huge bonfire. But the next morning, it had vanished. New footprints led from Jack's house to where the bonfire had been. What have you done with my bonfire? shouted Mr. Oat. It wasn't me, snipped Jack. I don't like people playing trick on me, said the farmer. You're banned from the party. Jack felt terrible. Mr. Oat built a new bonfire stump and stomped home. That night, Jack couldn't get to sleep. Why would steal a bonfire? Who would steal a bonfire? He asked himself. Just then, he heard the clanking of wood outside. Jack raced out of the house. Jack couldn't believe his eyes. Chilly the snowman was taking down the bonfire. Uh-oh, oh no! cried the snowman nervously. We're not supposed to let people see us move. You're alive, gasped Jack. Of course, said Chili. All snowmen come alive at night. So you took bonfire, said Jack. Yeah, said Chili, looking ashamed. But why, asked Jack. It was so close. I would have melted, Ex explained Chili. I didn't want to... Won't that happen? You made me so well. Why don't why didn't you just run away? asked Jack. Chili shook his head. A snowman must return to where he was he was built. He says firmly. I didn't put me to get you into trouble at Chili at Chili sadly. Don't you don't worry, said Jack. All we have to do is moving the fire. Jack and he, his eyes, new friend, carried the log to the middle of the field. The pair spent all night building the new bonfire. Chili returned to his place just before Mr. Oates arrived. The, if, even built you on even better bonfire, Mr. Oates said Jack, to make up from the onion lost. I think it looks like much better over here. Mr. Oates was so Im impressed, he let Jack and go Jack go to the party. And only Jack noticed the snowman next door give him a grateful wink. Chapter 2 Snowy and Ice The children of Frostil were hard at work. Tomorrow was ju judging, judging day of the best snowman contest. Emma Humble was finished her snowman snow, snowy. He had a bad felt hat, tiny stone from his eyes and his mouth, a, a most eaten wooden scarf, and a broken old walking stick. That one Dosh lived next door. She was so rich. She had servants to build her snowman ice. He had a shiny top hat, 
sparkling button from his eyes and mouth, a spotted a spotted silk scarf, and a silver top crown. Dolphin peer over the fence to Emma's eyes is twice twice as nice as your snowman. She boasted. At last, I built snowman myself," said Emma. "Ha!" scoffed Dolphin. "We'll see who's best tomorrow." That night, snowman of frozen frostyle came to life. Eyes point at snow, snowy. What a fright, frightful sight! He jeered. Jeered. Snowy looked at. His tattered clothes, which his snow, stony eyes. You'll never win this contest," said Icy, Icy smugly. "Maybe I can make myself look better," said Snowy. He, he said, up across the field, Ice was cutting he'd be, be the best snowman in town, but he decided to follow Snowy just to make sure. Snowy saw some sheep with wool caught on the war fence. I could use that to part of my scarf, he thought. I see crap up behind Snowy. We'll see how your scarf looks after it being tang tangled in that wheel. War. He charged to himself. I I. Ice was about to push Snowy into the fence. Into the fence, while he heard a loud bah. A flock of sheep raced by and knocked him down. Snowy took the wool and entered the woods. That twisty branch would make a great walking stick, he says. Ice clumped at a tree behind the Snowy. I'll get you this time, Stony Face. Thought Ice. Ice began swelling. Thought a heavy branch. This will put a dent in Snowy's head. He chuckled. But the silky snowman had cut through the branch he was sitting on. Ice fell out of the tree and landed. Did in a prickly, howly bush, the snowy touched his new stick under her, his arm and worked on. Snowy came to an ice pond, let off shine right pebbles laid around the edge. This will make a great button. The snowy icy tiptoes behind him. Icy went to push Snowy into the pond, into the pond, but as he did so, Snowy bent over the to pick up a handful of pebbles. Icy fell over, Icy fell over Snowy, slid suddenly across the ice and vanished into a patch of reeds. Snowy put on his new buttons and plodding back to Emma's house. He had made his new stick and buttons. Then he mended his scarf. He didn't notice the ice dragger home much later. The sandy snowman was a limpy mess, and he would cover in leaves and wreaths. The next day, the snowman was judged. Judge. Scarfy ice came last, and Snowy won first prize. A dolphin, dolphin was furious. Emma was still thrilled, but she never found out how her snowman got his new outfit. Chapter three, Frozy new buttons. Freezy gave a sad sigh. Ever, every snowman in the town had a shiny pebbles button, except for him. Crispy had three big buttons. Sneezy had four small ones, and Shiver had eight of a all shape and size. That that afternoon, two men rushed along the freezy street streets. Where can we hide them? Said Pat one. 
I've, I've got an idea, Lenny, gasped the other. He pulled a, a little bag from his pocket. Stan took three, three shiny stones from the bag and stuck them freezy chest. Buttons, laughed Lenny. Let's get out of here, said Stan. The sneaky pair ran off the, as quickly as they had arrived. Freezy was dying to sh show off his new buttons, but he had to wait until night time. As soon as he got dark, Freezy vis visited his friends. Why do you think I've bet but my buttons? He says with a grin. Wow, they're so Sparkly gas crisp, crispy, better than pebbles, cries Sneezy. Why, where did you get them? asked Silver. Oh, they were a present, said the Freezy proudly. His friends were so jealous, their snow nearly turned green. Freezy stole slowly home as he walked along the a newspaper blew around his feet. The newspaper headline near melted him with shock. The every block, jewel Steve stole dig by diamonds. Crookes got away with three jewels one worth one million from Christmas display. Freezy was worth stolen jewels, rolling stolen jewels. I'd been had them in the police, he thought. At the that at that moment he had a fam familiar voice behind him. There he is, Lenny. The two crocs raced up. To the deep amaz amazement, Freezy ran off in free fright. He's alive? screamed Lenny. After him, Yasten. The crook took Chester Freezy up in, into the hills. Freezy stopped to catch him breath. He was excited. They were about to catch me soon, he puffed. Then he had an idea. Why the crook catch up the with Freezy, they found him still under a ledge. He then took jewels off his chest. Said Lenny, hand over, hand them over a snow features Burke's den. I'm sorry, said Freezy. I couldn't, can't hear you. Where are the diamonds? Excuse me, said Freezy. Where are the jewels? Roth them. Speak up, said Freezy. Where are the diamonds? The crooks. Shouting made the snow on the hillside shake. With a huge washing, it thr thundered down. Ah, help! Freezy took the diamonds from under his head and stuck them in the snow. He pulled a stand and phone from the pocket and called the police. He told them where to find the crook and the jewels. The freezer ran off so the police wouldn't see him, but perhaps they did. The next day, a policeman found a shiny gold medal to Freezy scarf. This was even better than a button. The end.